On this episode of Camp Outside, I want to tell you about what I think is the best hitch for road trips, pulling trailers, having hitch mounted accessories, and that is the Kurt hitch with an extra receiver. Check it out. Hey guys, I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. You know, when I'm going camping or fishing, I am constantly pulling a trailer. Whether I'm pulling pontoon fish, my 20-foot pontoon boat, or I'm pulling my 14-foot Alumacraft rowboat, or now I'm pulling my cargo camper, which is my 7x14 enclosed cargo trailer that's been converted to a camper, I'm pulling trailers all the time. And I have found a hitch that I absolutely love, and so I want to share it with you, and that is the Kurt hitch with a extra receiver. And one of the things that I really love about this hitch is that I am able to put something in the extra receiver so that I don't have to pull my hitch off anytime I want to add my cargo basket or my bike rack or I've got a hitch-mounted fishing rod holder. I can just put that in the second hitch receiver and rock and roll. Now, I don't always combine things. So for instance, when I'm pulling my cargo camper, there's not enough room between the ball and where the box starts to fit a bike rack. I don't necessarily use it uh, in that case. But when I am pulling my pontoon boat, as you can see right here, I definitely can put my bike rack over the tongue of the pontoon boat. And so I can haul my bikes and haul my pontoon boat at the same time. Uh, or what I can do is I can put my fishing rod holder uh, in the receiver and then I can carry my, my one-piece fishing rods that I don't have room for in the vehicle. I can carry them outside on my fishing rod rack. Or guys, uh, sometimes when I'm just going to the gas station, like I want to go get gas in my five-gallon gas cans and I don't want to put those gas cans in my vehicle. Instead of having to pull my hitch off to mount my cargo basket, I can just drop the cargo basket in the extra receiver on the hitch and I'm good to go so I love these hitches and so I'm gonna get this one installed on the van today for the cargo camper let's take a look so I ordered this hitch off of Amazon and not only does it come with the actual receiver itself but taped inside comes a hitch pin and a clip now that's really nice if you just want to throw something on but I always use lockable hitch pins Guys, and again, you probably heard me say this before, but locks only keep honest people honest. Yes, you can break hitch locking pins and stuff like that. You put a pipe on it and you can bust it. I like I, I get that, but I try not to make myself a super easy target. So if you're just using one of these, yeah, all they can do is pull the pin and they've got your hitch in, in, in five seconds. At least if they're going to break a hitch pin, they've got to come prepared. So uh, I definitely use a locking hitch pin and uh, so we're gonna get this on the van and then we're gonna mount the ball so I have my old one on which is for the boat and I'm gonna install the new one with a 2 and 5 16 inch ball for my cargo camper the 2 inch ball I use for my boat trailers Before I mount the ball, I want to talk about this hitch just a little bit. So this hitch is rated for 7,500 pounds and 750 pounds of tongue weight. That means that this hitch will tow any trailer that I have because all of my trailers at most have two 3,500 pound axles, which means at most those loads can weigh 7,000 pounds. It's very important that you match your hitch with the weight of your trailer. It's also really important to understand that the top receiver is not for towing. It's for hitch mounted accessories. It's for cargo baskets, bike racks, fishing rod holders, all the hitch mounted accessories that you can think of that don't require a lot of weight and don't require towing. So the maximum for this top receiver is 500 pounds, which is the rating of most cargo baskets. 
For the ball for this trailer, I like to use the Kurt trailer balls. You always want to make sure that you match the right size ball for your hitch. So for my cargo camper, it takes a 2 and 5 16 inch ball, which is why I'm installing this one today. It'll say 2 and 5 16 right on the top of the ball so that you know what size it is. Also, you want to make sure that your ball is rated for more than the weight of your trailer. It's very, very important. So this ball is rated for 12,000 pounds. It's much more than I'm ever going to need. I also really like these balls because they're very easy to put on the trailer. They have a squared off shank underneath the ball that you can put a pipe wrench on to make sure that you tighten it down securely. The nut underneath is a one and a half inch nut. So if you don't have a one and a half inch wrench like I do, what you can do is you can buy a wrench that they sell specifically for trailer balls, or you can just use some big pipe wrenches. So there's another real added benefit to using one of these Kurt hitches, and that is the distance between the rear bumper of your tow vehicle and the ball is farther out than a standard hitch. Now, I really like that, and here's why. If you're pulling a enclosed trailer with a V-nose, oftentimes those trailers are very, very short-tongued. And so, as a result, Go take a look at any V-Nose trailer and you're probably going to see a hole in one of the front sides of the V-Nose where someone has jackknifed the trailer and punched a hole in the diamond plate with their bumper. By giving you a little more space between the bumper of the tow vehicle and the hitch ball, that gives you a little more space between your bumper and the front of your V-Nose cargo trailer. And that can make all the difference when you have to back that trailer up into a tight turn. This is especially true with the hitches that have three balls mounted on one hitch. Typically the two uh, inch ball and the one and seven eighths inch ball stick out farther from the hitch and the two and five sixteenths are much closer to the bumper. At least that's the way it is on my three-way ball. And I'll show you that right here. We're gonna take a little screenshot where you can see this. Here's a great example of both hitches side by side with the tri-ball hitch having the 2 and 5 16 inch ball up and ready to use versus the Kurt hitch with the extra receiver. You can see just how much longer the hitch is, giving you that much more space between your tow vehicle and your trailer. Let's go take a look at how it looks on the van. With the tri-ball hitch, the bumper to ball is only about 3 inches. With the Kurt hitch with extra receiver, bumper to ball is about nine inches. You can see just how far away the hitch is from the bumper in the tri-ball mount hitch as in the hitch with the extra receiver. And so guys, when I have to back my cargo camper into tight spots, I really love having the extended hitch so that I have a little more room to maneuver when I'm back in a trailer into a tight spot.
You don't have to get a Kurt Hitch with a second receiver to have an extended length. Kurt also makes an extended length hitch that's rated 7,500 pounds without the receiver. I'll put a link to that down in the description below so that if you're looking for one and don't need the extra receiver, you can get that. It's a little bit cheaper. Guys, I'm also putting a link down in the description below to the Kurt uh, hitch balls as well as the Kurt hitch with the extra receiver. Those are all affiliate links, guys. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does give me a little commission on the sale. It just really helps me um, make videos by getting a little commission. So thank you so much if you use our affiliate links. And hey, if you don't, it's no big deal. I just hope that this information is helpful for you. So guys, that's it for today. I now have the new hitch installed on the van. So I'm going to hook into the cargo camper and I'm going camping this weekend. So Guys, Camp Outside exists to help moms and dads take their kids camping, hiking, fishing, learn about nature, and develop a conservation ethic. We want to help you get you and your kids outside. So if you have been considering at all pulling any kind of trailer, whether it's a boat trailer or a camper or a cargo trailer or a utility trailer or a kayak trailer, anything, and you have never pulled trailers before and you have any questions, guys, there's no question uh, that's a stupid question unless you don't ask it, right? So drop something in the comments below. I'm happy to help you get hooked up so that you can go pull your trailer and go have fun with the family. So definitely drop something in the comments below, or you can hit me up on my other social media. I'm on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, or you can hit me up at my website at kempoutside.com. we got a lot of new stuff happening on the YouTube channel, so I hope you hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell icon that notifies you when we release new videos, and hit that thumbs up button on this video if you think you're going to get one of these Kurt hitches. And if not, still hit the thumbs up button. Guys, thanks for watching Kemp Outside. We will see you next time. Mm -hmm.